Hello, I'm Matt from Practical BI and welcome to this Power BI guide. This time we're looking at how to create a dynamic axis for your chart in, in Power BI. So how do we vary uh, what the axis is showing um, based on either another measure or a slicer or some kind of options that we give to the, to the user there. So uh, I'm going to look at two approaches within this, this video. Um, if you'd like just to skip to, to one, um, I put the times there so you can jump straight to, to the one that you're interested in. Um, or if you'd like to see both, um, then carry on watching. Okay, let's dive into our report. Let's start first of all by looking at the approach of using a slicer um, and uh, uh, adjusting our data model to, to give us our, our changing axis. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go um, into my um, menu, my home menu at the top. I'm going to go to transform data. What we're going to do is we're going to add an additional table here um, for with the two dimensions or or any of the any number of dimensions depending on how many you want to include here um, within your variable axis. So I'm just going to right click on fruit sales. I'm going to I'm going to click reference. I'm going to create a new table here that I'm just going to call dimension. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm I'm, I'm just going to um, let's just start by removing the columns that I don't need. Um, and I'm going to highlight the two dimension columns that I do want to use. So I've got country and fruit here. Um, I'm going to click transform. I'm going to go to unpivot columns. I'm just going to select that. And you'll see what's, what, what that's done is I've got my, my sale ID column here still. So for each sale, I have um, a, a country attribute and, and a value for that, and then a fruit attribute and a, and a value for that. So let's call this my dimension. Um, and I'll, I'll keep the, the value just as, as value. So I'll, I'll close and apply that. And then let's dive into our, our data model. Okay, so uh, you can see that Power BI has created that connection straight away between my sale ID here and my sale ID in my dimension table. Now there's one small change that I'm gonna need to make here in advance. Um, and there are a couple of ways of doing this as, as always with Power BI, but I'm just gonna go in, um, I'm gonna double click on my relationship there to edit that relationship. Um, and I'm gonna change my cross filter direction to both. Now you do need to be careful when you're doing this. There are other um, implications to doing this um, and it may be more appropriate to use the cross filter um, function within your measures as opposed to doing this. But we'll, I'll talk about that in, a, in, a, in another video. So I'm just going to click OK to that now. You'll see that my uh, single arrow changes to, to a double arrow. Um, and I'm just going to go back into my chart. Now let's add a, a slicer in. Um, and I'm going to drag in my uh, dimension field on the top here into my slicer. I'll just uh, format that slicer so it shows up a bit more easily. Um, and I'll make a change just to say uh, under my selection controls, I'm going to turn single select on. So you can either choose country or fruit as your dimension for the, uh, for the chart. And then I'm going to go to my, my chart here, uh, onto my fields. And instead of country that's currently showing, I'm going to bring in um, dimension. Sorry, not dimension. I'm going to bring in value. Um, I'm going to take off country there. Um, and you can see that uh, nothing's changed here. We've still got our countries down the side, but now if I select fruit, you'll see that the, the, the chart changes to show uh, sales by fruit. And I can flick back to country and sales by country again. You may notice here that when I flick to fruit, my title's still saying fruit sales by country. Um, so it, it can be a good thing just to, um, to create a, a custom chart based on the selected value of your dimension to, to help um, adjust that. I've got a, another video on how to change your uh, chart title dynamically. So um, if you want more, more information on how to, how to do that, then, then check that video out. Um, but for now, let's, I'm just going to create a, um, a measure that's called selected dimension. We'll use this later in our second approach as well. I'm going to use the selected value function within DAX just to give my, uh, my se selected value for the dimension column I've got there. I'm then going to go into this, um, this other measure called chart title that I've created. And instead of it just, just saying fruit sales by country, I'm going to remove the word country and I'm just going to append on my uh, selected dimension value there. So I just click OK to that. Um, and what you see now is I've already set up the, um, the, the conditional formatting for the title. Um, and again, you ch check out that other video on um, 
dynamic chart titles um, so you can see that that's, that's based on the conditional formatting there so now when I flick to country I've got my country axis and I'm looking at fruit sales by country and I flick to fruit I'm looking at fruit sales by fruit and I've got them down the side okay so that's one approach and one methodology let's have a look at a, a slightly different approach now so uh, this second approach is um, starts off by using a, a, a what appears to be a drill down so all I've done is I've I've dragged in both of my my fields, my fruit and my country field into my into my axis for my chart here, and so I could um, cycle up from fruit up to country, or down from from country to fruit, and that's fine. But obviously, it doesn't make sense as a, as a hierarchy in in this respect. So it's just a kind of a, a holding um, piece of functionality for now. Let's start by adding in a couple of buttons here. So I'm just going to go to buttons. I'm going to add in a blank button. Um, and we'll pop them at the top here. I'm just going to call. Uh, we'll, we'll change the button text here. So I'm just going to call this first one um, country. Okay, um, and we'll just bring bring that up like that. Maybe add in um, uh, a fill color just so you can see it a bit more clearly. Um, I'll take my outline off, and then I'll do the same for for fruit as well. So just change, copy that button, pasted it across, change the name to whoops, change the name to fruit. Um, and then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two bookmarks, uh, one for each of these buttons to refer to, and each bookmark is going to represent uh, a different um, axis for for my my chart. So um, I'm going to go to view at the top. Go to my bookmarks pane. I'm just going to click add for a bookmark. We'll call this first one um, fruit, given that I've got fruit selected right now. And uh, I'm just going to go to um, remove the current page um, tick there. Uh, and I'm going to just choose to I'll select my visual. And I'm going to just choose to update my selected visual rather than all visuals there. You see, I have the choice of all visuals or selected visuals. I'm just going to choose selected visuals. Um, and, and then I'm going to go up in my, uh, I'll just make sure that that's updated, just click update there, and I'm going to go up in my hierarchy, I'm going to drill up, not really a hierarchy, but I'm going to drill up in my, my drill down there, I'm going to click uh, add another bookmark, and we'll do the same there, I'm going to take off current page, I'm going to take off, uh, um, I'm going to switch to selected visuals, sorry, and I'm going to rename this as uh, country. And I'll just click update to that. Okay, so now when I click my fruit uh, button, uh, oh, oh, nothing's going to happen yet because I haven't uh, assigned any actions. So let's go to our, um, uh, our, our country button first of all. I'm going to go down to action here. I'm going to turn action on. And we're going to set it to refer to that bookmark that we've created. So country to country. I'll just turn my visual header off as well. And then fruit uh, will refer to fruit okay so now you can see when I click on country I'm, I'm, I'm on country when I click on fruit uh, it clicks my my chart to fruit and I can click back to, to country as well there again I, I probably would want to make my um, chart title dynamic and, and and we could do that if we if we wanted to as well so the last thing to do with this approach is to remove the visual header because we don't really want our consumers of the dashboard to be able to use these um, up and down arrows and, and drill down in this way because it's not um, it's not strictly a, a hierarchy that we've created here. So I'm just going to go into my format options. I'm going to make sure that my visual header is turned off here. And that way when I publish the dashboard, it will look something like something like this. Um, I'm viewing this now in the Power BI service online. So I can click uh, fruit and flick my chart to fruit, I can click country, flip back to country, and you can see that even though I'm hovering over this chart, there I don't have that visual header appearing, um, so there's no confusion there with, with the drill down. And I've also got the alternative here of, of, of flicking with the, the slicer between country and um, fruit. So I hope that video has been useful. Um, if it has, uh, or if you have any other questions or feedback, please do uh, leave them in the comments. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please like and, and subscribe. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you again.